Hey, what's up guys, it's Thief Protation and today I'm going to be carrying on with my PSG career modes. So this episode I'm actually going to be doing transfers and stuff until I advance to my first friendly game. Um, so if, to any of you guys that don't actually like uh, seeing most of the menu stuff where you do transfers and stuff, I uh, apologise but next episode there's definitely going to be the gameplay. Um, so moving on now, um, someone in the comment section said actually that he doesn't like my subs bench so I've improved this so this I was going to look and I'll explain why I got some of the players in there. Um, so in goal we got um, Duchess. Uh, he's just a ran normal goalie in right back position we need two defenders so we've got Jalet and Alex uh, got Mota and Sezoka you might be wondering why you why do you have two CDMs uh, center defensive mids in your substitute why don't you have a center mid or center attacking mid basically because uh, Sezoka can play in a CM position a center mid position and Thiago Mota can play in, in a CDM CA, CM and the CAM position um, so they're all really good in that position and the CMs I've got here is uh, Chantomi and Bodma and I don't really like them, they're both slow and they're just clumsy players basically. Uh, the striker I put um, Gamario or Gamario, however you want to call it, tell me please in the comment section because I'm going to be having a lot of problems with him and I also got Nene in here who's quite a good player but I think his rating is going to go down because he is quite an old player. Um, so basically why I took off this guy, he is 6 foot 4 his uh, attacking work rates uh, not that well and his offensive work rates just good for a striker but he's 28 years old he's injury prone he can head at the ball good but um, his acceleration just kills the whole thing about him you know he might look at his dribbling look at his finishing he's just a terrible player you know the only thing good about him is his heading he's like Shamak but Shamak's a better version of this guy and he's a bit short and stuff like that but um yeah so it's just a terrible player so i'm thinking about actually selling them so let's go into our transfer um thing now um sorry transfer list and stuff like that to check who you want to buy who do we want to sell so i just quickly go there sell players we definitely need to play we definitely need to sell players that we don't need because they're going to start moaning about how they not playing and they're one of the good players in the team and stuff like that and I don't want to deal with that um, so let's just first loan out these players uh, Rabiot 64 blue is quite a good talent whoa look at that hair oh my god Jesus anyways let's move on uh, just list them that was just so uh, look at that how could you let your hair grow that like thing I just don't understand Wow. Anyways, uh, I can't get over it. Um, let's just loan out this guy as well. Uh, There's a lot of good talents in this team as well, um, which are young and stuff that I actually need to get on loan. Um, loan this guy for a season. He's a goalie, a good talent. Hopefully, can grow up and be good until the time that Sego actually gets old. Oh, Philippines. I've never seen actually a player in for this from Philippines well I might have I don't remember so I'm, I don't want to drag on basically those are the players I'm gonna loan at oh, I'm just gonna loan at this one as well um yeah so Elibale Baldi yeah just loan at them lot and then the rest are already not that good anyway <laughs> um now we did say we needed a left back so let me just see if I can check my short list if I have anyone in there there are currently no players okay let's go ahead and look for some left backs uh, someone said back here and Gibbs but um, Arsenal are definitely not going to let him go unless I give a big amount of money um, because he's just a great player they shot they sold Kalishi um, so they're not going to be uh, selling um, Gibbs when Andres Santos is not playing well either so let's just check what other options we have I did talk about Marcelo as well um, we'll see him in a minute as well but we need to find a young good player that can work in defense a lot as well as attack so I'm basically looking for more of a defensive player than attack him because we just need to help our defense out I know a lot of defenders that actually um, go up attack and the two defenders are left behind they don't look like a great talent because they just uh, need to cover four positions when there's only two of them so anyways 
here's are some of the players: David Santon, Alexandros, San Alexandros. Sorry, uh, he's attacking as you can see. Okay, I'm just gonna go down like this, just compare it. That's the only way I can think of it. See, Kieran Gibbs is medium, medium, which is all right, but it's not really what I want. I want a defensive work rate high player instead of a attacking work rate high. So, uh, just oh, Stefan Red Radu. Uh, his pace is alright, not the best, but I can let him off. Aggression is good, interceptions are good. Ooh, it's really seeming good right now. Um, yeah, so let's just add him onto our shortlist because he is one of them players that I'm looking into. But then again, it's still your guys' decision. Um, but I think I am going to buy him this episode. We'll see what we do in a second. Uh, just if we can find anyone quickly uh, before him. Ooh, there's another player. Monreal. Okay, um, let's just compare Monreal to Ready, and we will decide. So, Monreal's pace is better, his stamina is much better. Uh, definitely can't compare his stamina. His crossing is much better, which is important as well. His height, um, now. I think I might go ahead with Monreal because his weak foot is 4 star, skill was 3 star and I'm probably going to use that a few times in this series. Um, he is 26 years old but he is getting old but it's only 1 year difference, his height they are almost the same so there's not much of a problem there. And I think Monreal is a more athletic player, let's just see agility, yeah he is more athletics. Um, athletic, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Monreal because he is more... He's just a better player. Um, so hopefully I've not gone past him. I think I have. Um, where is he? Monreal, 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 Monreal. Don't tell me I've gone past him. You two stuff and Dennis Scale. Ah, uh, there is. How could I miss him? Seriously, he's quite a cheap player. Let's see. Let's compare their price. Um, 4.4 mil. He's asking for 10 grand cheaper wage which is not really a problem 4.1 so Monreal is cheaper and better uh, in, keep in mind my logo in real life or uh, their um, owner has pulled out so they don't have an owner no more and they're in depth because they bought lots of players for um, just massive amount of money so they're in uh, quite a depth that's why they sold um, Santa Cazola or Cafola how you want to say it to Arsenal um, so let's just uh, approach my logger to buy him because he's just a beast player so this team is short on players for this position oh that was something I didn't want to hear make a great offer in order to get this player okay we'll just offer 5.8 million which is a great offer in my opinion uh, and I had no players we don't want to loan him uh, so let's just go ahead and go on for this deal um, okay Let's just see if we have any other weak points in our team. Uh, our right back's fairly new to our club. He just got transferred this season. Transferred this season. Sacco's already been there. Matudi transferred last season. Veretti transferred this season. Pastore transferred last season. Their whole team is fresh. Their whole team is created from last season and this season. Which is just so good, and you can just tell they got so much money. So our substitute's looking good as well. So I think the only player that we need is a left back. Maybe if you guys want me to add someone instead of Mota and Suzuko because they are both a quite old team, you know. I mean, sorry, old players, not team. Um, Mota is 29 and Suzuko is 27, which is not that old actually. I thought it was much older than that. Um, but if there is again someone. You want me to think? Oh yeah, we just need we need to sell Chad, Tommy, and Bodmar. Okay, let's go ahead and do that, and then we will advance to see the results for Monreal or for. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly sell Bodmar. And um, what am I doing? I'm kind of lost here. Even Rich Thomas, what was it? Motor, where is it? They're not actually worth anything. Look at them. Bob Myers is worth 4.6, which is quite a good amount, you know. He could, um, they could cover our left back position thing. Uh, offer, we will only lose about one or two mil in the transfer we're in at the moment. So just add the transfer list. Um, who was the other player, Bob and Chantomi? 
uh, so his quest so they will cover the thing so we can offer actually more to the um, Malaga to get him because we are selling these two players and we don't need them and then one is just I don't know so we don't want to lose money but at the same time we don't want to uh, yeah we don't want to lose money there's no same time or anything so let's just advance to see the results Oh yeah, and again, um, so loan may help Rabiot. Rabiot. PSG have taken the step to allow 17-year-old Adrian Rabiot to go out on loan. Yeah, I want him to uh, bottom on the way out. Yeah, he's not an important player anymore for me as a manager. Uh, TFP does not want him. Uh, so I just kept quiet there for a second. Uh, so sorry about that. FC Boston target um, Gomez. So it's a good transfer there, Gomez. You know they might want him. We have we have had Gomez on our list for the time now. We need to bring him to the top of the con. I can't read right now. I don't know why I'm kind of tired. Um, but yeah, FC Barcelona want Gomez. They only have Messi up strike, so they might want to move on to a left wing position because they got Iniesta there. But they might want to play Iniesta in the midfield position um, instead of Cesar because because he does want to leave in real life. But I don't know about the game situation right now. So um, let's just advance and see who else is going to get transferred and stuff like that. So it's quite interesting transfer season, you know. Already starting off with us transferring the left back PSG, the big club wanting to transfer players. Also, Malaga does not accept the only one 6.5 million, which is good enough for me. You know, I'll go ahead and give that offer. Um, it's not a problem. I got 56 million, and I'm selling two players that are going to be worth more than what I'm offering this guy right now. Uh, so it's just a great transfer right now, and he's young, and he's just a great player, crucial first team player so he's always in the first 11 he's a crucial player for the club which also explains why they want so much money for him and they're low on the position and basically yeah um so let's see who else is interested um transfer we have received a transfer offer from matthew bodmer okay let's see hopefully they're giving us a good amount arsenal only 3.2 million come on arsenal you're a better club than this give me just give me 4.1 million and i'll sell him at least you know, I'm losing 500,000 pounds here, and, you know, help me out here a little bit. Uh, anyways, go ahead and submit that offer to them. Uh, hopefully, I've, I haven't been doing a commentary for long, 12 minutes. Okay, I need to cut this off soon, but we're just going to advance until we get into our next game. Um, sorry if it's too long, and you people, uh, I know most of my viewers just like short videos that like 5 minutes because of my road to glory and stuff, and it's a big change. We have reviewed your asking price for Bodmer, but there's unfortunately more than we are willing to spend for this moment. We have submitted a new offer to Fuji. Oh, so they've offered us 4 million instead of Arsenal Wenger, you're such a stingy cunt. No joke, he's just such a stingy person. He never transfers anyone. They Arsenal, to any of you guys that don't know, have owners. So they are a rich club, you know, and that's the reason they're not mainly getting rid of Arsenal Wenger because they have owners and he's making the club he's getting the club uh, profit instead of putting them in depth like most clubs are in depth um, so he's just making them the club lots of money and yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and sell him actually why should he sell him you know it's not like we need to sell him we don't need the money or anything so I'm just gonna go ahead offer 4.2 million once again and if you don't want it, you can just fuck off. I don't really care, to be honest, because we are the richest club in France right now. Arsenal went and talked to Sam Bodmer. Yes, he is, and he's a stingy cunt that doesn't want to waste his money. Uh, apparently, um, Arsenal Wenger is a finance man before he started to um, actually manage Arsenal. Now, don't uh, quote me on this, but I don't know if it's true or not, so, like, um, please. Just don't quote me. Uh, anyways, Malaga have um, accepted your deal for Monreal. Okay, now the deal is that ah, uh, see, Monreal is a smart player. He actually wants forty thousand because he knows um, he is one of the most important players in Malaga, and they don't want to sell him. And they're getting a lot of money for it. And he knows PSG is a rich club, which in fact that's where he's um, off asking for forty thousand instead of what he's getting right now. So we're just gonna offer another ten k. Um, squad. 
Yeah, let's say crucial one team player. I'm paying him too much money actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and offer him 40,000 because we're giving him 20%. And we're saying your crucial first team player in PSG, they're a big club, they're in the Champions League this season. And uh, what else do you want basically? Just drop that to four years, you know, if we are renew his contract if we need to. Um, yeah, so we're going quite good at the moment. Uh, Atletico Madrid still 18 million pounds deal for Jonas Bell Jonas Bell Handa what a transfer the 22 year old completed his move and he has agreed to a hundred thousand pounds a week Atletico Madrid they are just going crazy on their money they did a uh, loan Diego last season so they don't have him anymore that's why they want to replace him so um, they are they have all well Honda. Hopefully, he was good enough as Diego. I think he is, and he is very young, so he's going to improve over the, over the years. So he's saying, "I am very happy to be here. I know I am joining a club that has been growing and still is ambitious to go as high as possible." And yes, they are. They are growing. They bought Falcao. They bought Arda Turan, and they are just growing to be an excellent team. Um, they didn't win the Europa League as well. I think it was. Um, so, yeah. So who else? Uh, I just want to see the transfer thing there. Oh, re we have Rude, your asking price for Bundo and decided to match it and go ahead. Oh, I see Arsene Wenger did. They do need a centre attack, a, cent a midfielder, um, because they are they only got Santi there with Mikel Arteta and his Mikel's getting old. Bodmar, don't get me wrong, he is old as well, but he is possibly could play better in the uh, box Premier League because. Um, keep in mind, Bodmar is French as well, I think. That's why Arsenal Wenger is like, I'm just trying to link the stuff together just to make it realistic. I just want to congratulate you and wish you the best for the new uh, being a moon manager. For PS3, yeah, I know international teams are going to be into me. I'm going to try to go to the best team possible. Oh, now, Barcelona are interested in Aguero. I don't think they'll actually be getting Aguero unless Aguero wants to go um, to Barcelona, which I don't think he'll want to go because... Uh, he's just very happy at uh, Man City and he's playing great, scoring a lot of goals. Um, but anyways, we are almost at our first um, uh, friendly game. Hopefully Monreal will actually accept it. And as soon as I say that, he does accept it. So see, being a smart manager then, just giving what he wants but actually adding on some stuff that he didn't ask for. And um, actually signing the players such as the clean sheet bonus and asking for four years instead of three years and still giving the same amount of money. Just, you know, washing his brain there, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, accept the deal and advance to our game and then end of the series. Uh, so we have following. Um, so one second. One second, sorry. I can't. Arm um, so we've just got off of for um, Duchess and he's just been a great player for us. <laughs> we haven't actually played with him but he's a great substitute, sorry that's what I meant. Um, sorry my friend just called me there, that's why I had to mute my mic and I actually can't edit out the um, thing. So um, yes, we've also got offer for Kamara who's older but he... You know, we don't need the money so why should I sell the player? We need to buy players instead of things so... Uh, new signing, we have signed Monreal Maxwell, you are moving on to the bench because you are not needed anymore because we got Monreal. Maxwell, we might add you onto the bench instead of Jallet. Uh, just see the age reference. Uh, whoa. Now Maxwell is not good enough and we'll just add him instead of Ludin or something. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna end off the episode here now because um, I've actually just carried on for quite a while. We've done one transfer, looked at all the um, important transfers as well. We've agreed to sign on real, yes, big news. Um, Obi the clans moved from uh, Flicka Santana. You know, a lot of transfer. Look at all this. Uh, Julia Batista, interesting. So these are Toulouse and Saint Intin. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. It's almost been 20 minutes, so I want to apologize to anyone that is actually watching. Uh, any of my subscribers, sorry, that actually watch this and like, don't like the 20 minutes video. But I'm sorry, but most of my videos are going to be like this from now on. 
um, anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next game where I play the friendly so um, bye